Number 1. Groningen's Old Town District. With its numerous bike and people friendly pathways and old squares, Old Town Groningen is a delightful place to begin your adventure. Highlights of a walking or cycling tour of the city's historic core include the magnificent early 19th century neoclassical town hall, Staduis, in the Grote Market, and the superb Renaissance gold office, Gavkantor, built in 1635. Number 2. Martini Tower. Martin's Church, Martinikirk, a lovely brick-built Romanesque Gothic basilica constructed in the 13th century, is one of Groningen's most important landmarks. Rebuilt in the 15th century, the old choir was replaced by one with tall Gothic vaulting and an ambulatory, while a chapel and sacristy were added to the north side. Number 3. Groninger Museum. Housed in a splendid postmodern building on the banks of the Verbinding Scannel, its three main pavilions host impressive exhibits of modern and contemporary art from both local and international artists, as well as works from the museum's standing collections. Numerous visiting exhibits are also hosted year-round. Number 4. Unique Wall House. The fascinating Wall House No. 2 is another pleasing piece of architecture that's also of interest to those with a hankering for great design. Run by the Groninger Museum and also known as the By House, this brightly painted postmodernist structure was designed by American architect John Quinton Hedgedook and is one of a number of such iconic structures built across the globe. Number 5. Norderplantzone Park. Groningen has more than its fair share of open spaces to explore. One of the prettiest is the Norderplantzone, a long narrow park in the northern outskirts of the city with pleasant meandering pathways. Laid out on the site of Groningen's former fortifications in the style of an English garden, the old earth ramparts were incorporated into the landscape, as were the old moats, which were turned into a series of ponds. Numerous events are held in the park. Number 6. Groningen University and Museum. Founded in 1614, the Groningen University, Rijksuniversiteit Groningen, and its extensive grounds are certainly worth exploring. A highlight of a visit to UG, as it's known locally, is the main administrative building. This impressive neo-Renaissance-style structure was erected in 1909 with a number of interesting allegorical figures on its façade. Number 7. Norderzen Performing Arts Festival The highlight of Groningen's busy theatrical and musical festival season is the annual Norderzen Festival. Held each year in the Norderplantzone, the city's main public park, this popular event attracts up to 135,000 visitors annually to experience numerous theatrical, dance, and music performances, along with literary events and visual arts presentations. Number 8. Lorsmere National Park. Just 38 kilometers northwest of Groningen on the North Sea coast is Lorsmere National Park, National Park Lorsmere, one of the country's most popular recreational and conservation areas. Once known as the Lower Sea, after separation from the Wadden Sea in 1969 its saltwater was gradually replaced by freshwater, bringing with it a variety of new flora and fauna. Number 9. Prince's Garden. Be sure to also include the lovely Prince's Garden, Princentuan, in your Groningen travel itinerary. One of the city's most popular green spaces, this attractive Renaissance-inspired park is home to a pleasant tea room and a popular annual poetry festival highlights include a beautiful rose garden and a traditional herb garden. Have your camera ready for some great flower shots. Number 10. Fortified Village of Bortange. Just 61 kilometers due east of Groningen and close to the border with Germany, the historic fortified village of Bortange is a remarkable feat of engineering. Built in 1593 and used as a fort until 1851, the entire village viewed from the air resembles a huge star, its outline marked by a series of moats and waterways. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.